Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Curse Captain Hippo TC here with a guide video for the new ghost ships. I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to tackle these new specters successfully. But before we get started, if you can find it somewhere deep down in your pirate heart, consider hitting that subscribe button. Each sub is greatly appreciated, and I promise that I'll continue to work hard to bring you quality content worthy of that beautiful sub. Now, let's jump into the video. With the release of Haunted Shores, we see the introduction of a new event called Ghost Ships. These spooky specters are no simple encounter. In fact, this could quite possibly be one of the most challenging PvE events that has ever been released to the Sea of Thieves. There are two ways to encounter these ships through the Burning Blade World event, which will be signaled by Flameheart Skull in the Sky, or through the new Order of Soul Voyages. There are three main things I want to cover to help you win these events. Stocking up your ship, assigning roles to your crew, and strategy. Let's start with stocking up your ship. For the Burning Blade World event, I recommend no less than 200 to 250 projectiles consisting of cannonballs, firebombs, blunderbombs, or chain shots. 100 planks and a whole crap ton of food if you have some flex tape that could come in handy as well for the order of soul voyages you will need significantly less supplies however for both encounters i recommend an extra pair of bridges as you will 100 percent your pants when you see these glowing bad boys sailing right towards you once your ship is stocked up and ready to fight each crew member will need to know what their role is and what they are responsible for this ensures everyone knows what they need to do when the hits the fan the roles i recommend are bilge rat their primary focus is on repairing and bailing they can help on the cannons as needed Helmsman, their primary focus is on positioning the ship for cannon shots while doing their best to keep the ship safe. They also call out where the ghost ships are so the rest of the crew is ready. Cannoneer, their primary focus is to bring down the ghost ships as quickly as possible by shooting them with cannons. They also assist with whatever might be needed in the moment like helping bail or adjusting the sails. Feel free to duplicate or combine these roles depending on your ship size. There is no need for a border in this encounter as you are not able to board ghost ships or ram them as they will pass right through you. What will help though is communicating with your crew. Speak up if you need help with adjusting sails or bailing below deck. Now that your crew is all sorted out, let's talk strategy. To bring down a ghost ship, shoot it three times with a cannonball, firebomb, blunderbomb, or even a chain shot. However, there are a ton of ships, so make sure you are quick and accurate with your shots. My advice is to focus on one ship at a time while circling the perimeter of the event. If your ship is in need of serious repair, you can leave the perimeter of the event giving your crew the time to make the much needed repairs to your ship. Try to avoid getting swarmed or sandwiched by these ships as they attack using three new deadly cannonballs. The Phantom Cannonballs are a green specter that will leave a large hole in your ship. The Wraith Cannonballs are a green screaming skull of terror that leaves multiple holes and causes knockback similar to hitting a keg. And lastly, we have the Flame Phantom Cannonballs that will set your ship ablaze. Try to avoid sailing directly behind the ghost ships as they drop mines behind them as well. A good strategy here is to have a crew member ready to shoot any mines that may get in your way. Lastly, the most important thing you can do is always be on the move. If your ship becomes immobilized, you better start praying to the whale lord as your ship is about to get destroyed by these ruthless ghost ships. If you do find yourself in that situation, it is all hands on deck to get your ship repaired and on the move again. Defeating ghost ships will reward you with haunted loot and spooky supplies, marked in the water with swirling ghosts above it. You might even score a cannonball crate of the damned, stocked with phantom cannonballs or even some wraith cannonballs for you to wield in battle, giving you a significant edge against other pirates. These new encounters come with new commendations and achievements to be unlocked, so if you are one of those kind of pirates that like to complete everything you can, you are going to love this. And there you have it. To complete this event and get the precious rewards, you and your crew will need to stock up, work together, strategize, and most importantly, 
keep your wits about you. While it is recommended to do this encounter with a few ships in an alliance, I hope this guide gives you and your crew the courage and the know-how how to tackle them without any stinking alliances. Because who really wants to share their loot, am I right? What is your plan for taking out ghost ships? Please let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you scurvy dogs out on the seas.